Ms. Rand, what ought to be the response of a businessman caught between two non-objective <laughs> laws, for example, accused of price fixing on one side and of having a monopoly on the other side? Such a businessman has no recourse except to use the best lawyer in the country and the loudest public relations man, uh, neither of uh, uh, which, which types uh, exist today, as far as I know, for the purpose of publicizing his situation and demanding redress on principle, rather than simply what is done in such cases is usually a kind of compromise. The businessman accepts whichever the government prescribes and uh, his lawyers tries to make the ma best deal possible uh, with the bureaucrats involved. That's what is usually done. Instead of that, a businessman caught in that position should make the issue as public as possible and fight it. Now, all of them are afraid, and in a certain sense, you can't blame them fully because they are so tied by this type of law that anyone who would make a stand claims that he would only be uh, a victim and his own fellow businessmen would desert him and he can't fight the government alone. Well, it's true in some respects and in others it isn't. A man who would make a firm stand, a man who would declare that he intends to fight on principle, would be the one whom the bureaucrats would leave alone. Because an airing, a public de debate on the principles involved is what the bureaucrats cannot maintain and could not withstand.